Welcome back, I'm Jill with thecarefreekitchen.com and today I'm gonna dive right in and show you one of my all-time favorite dinner recipes, beef stroganoff. This has thin strips of steak, sliced mushrooms, and the most mouth-watering sour cream gravy made in just one pan. Okay, so to get started, here are the ingredients that you are going to need. Okay, so this is some sirloin steak and I just put it in the freezer for about an hour so it's like just almost frozen and it makes it super easy to cut there. And then I have some garlic, some Dijon mustard, sour cream butter, a little bit of oil, some Worcestershire sauce and I was asking somebody at the store uh, where this was and they said, oh, hobbit sauce. You know, it's in a shire. Anyways, I thought that was funny. I've got some beef broth, some mushrooms, and this is eight ounces of mushrooms. We're gonna use all those. An onion, some fresh thyme. This is some heavy cream, flour, salt, and then pepper. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is slice up my onion here, and then I like to just peel off this outer layer here. And then I'm just going to mince this up pretty small. And then I'm going to put this in my saute pan. All right, and I've just got this cooking on medium high heat here. I'm going to add just a couple tablespoons of avocado oil, and I'm going to saute those until they are just lightly golden brown. Okay, and then while those are sauteing, I'm also going to slice up these mushrooms, and I'm just going to do thin slices here. I know some supermarkets have some that are already sliced. You can use those too or slice your own. And I'm just slicing them with the stems. We'll saute that up in some butter and garlic and this will be amazing. There we go. Now I'll just move those over a little bit. And now I'm going to use some fresh thyme and this thyme just makes this dish so amazing. The way that you pull it off is you can just hold the tip here and then pull the leaves down. And then you can just have like the nice soft little leaves and you take the woody part of the stem off. Okay, and then we only need a half a teaspoon here, so we really don't need much. It's like so perfect with that little bit of cream in there. And then it's got the sauteed mushrooms and the onions. When I was young, we used to make beef stroganoff with cream of mushroom soup as a kid, but this is kind of a grown up version of the same recipe. Okay, and then lastly, I have my steak here, and as you can see, it's, it's just a little bit frozen, and this will make it easier to cut, and you can use a lot of different kind of steaks here. You could use a boneless ribeye or a New York, or what I'm using is a sirloin steak. You could use a beef tenderloin um, or really any marbled steak will work. And I just have like thin little strips here, if you can kind of see that. And I have about a pound. There we go. That's all ready. All right, and my onions are just about done. They're gonna be brown here in another couple minutes. And I'm going to just add in my mushrooms now. And we'll just stir those. And I'm also going to add a couple tablespoons of butter to that. And then two or three teaspoons of minced garlic. And this will all just saute up really nice. We want our mushrooms to be golden brown here. All right, this is perfectly golden. We've got those little bits of golden onion, garlic, and then also the mushrooms. It looks so good. So now I'm just going to add this to a bowl. We'll come back to it in just a couple minutes. Okay, into my pan, I'm going to add just a little bit more avocado oil, and then all of my steak. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic to that, and then some salt and some pepper. And we're just gonna cook this on medium high heat, kind of quickly, and sear this steak. And we want it to be about medium. 
It will continue to cook just a little bit when I put my sauce on, but there we go. All right. And I want to leave just a little bit of pink in the middle. Let's clean that up a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to add in my mushrooms and onions. And then this is three tablespoons of flour. And I'm going to mix this up real quick. And you could certainly use like a cornstarch and water if you want to keep this gluten free to just thicken the gravy up. And now I'm going to add in my beef broth and a little bit of Dijon mustard. Here we go. Now we're going to bring this back up to a boil. And I'm going to add in my sour cream. And then also just a little bit of cream here. Okay, and we're gonna bring this to boil and then just simmer for about two minutes until the gravy thickens just a little bit. And then we'll be ready to serve it. Oh, and one last thing, I have my fresh thyme. There we go. Oh, I did forget one last thing and that is two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, or as my friend in the supermarket calls it, Hobbit sauce. There we go. It's all ready to go. Okay, here is my beef stroganoff. It has tender and juicy strips of steak, and then it's smothered in this amazing creamy mushroom gravy. We love serving this over potatoes or rice or pasta. It really is such a quick and easy weeknight dinner. I hope you enjoyed this recipe for our favorite beef stroganoff. It really is so easy to make and so versatile. We hope your family loves it as much as we do. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, follow me here, and share it with a friend. And I'll show you all kinds of fun and easy recipes that your family will love. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.